welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of the new fragrance from Nicki Minaj, Queen. This fragrance launched this year, 2019, and is her ninth fragrance. Um, this is a whole, like, her first fragrance that she's ever done with a new company. She parted ways with Elizabeth Darden, and she's now with Lux Brands, which is the same company that Ariana Grande started her line with, and Ariana Grande really kind of, like, helped make that company explode in my opinion just because the amazing success of Ari. So um Queen looks like this. You've got this amazing box which it does come in like another box. So when you order it for right now I know it's only available on the Nicki Minaj Fragrance website. Um I bought it off of there when it launched and I don't know if it's going anywhere else. Like I don't know if she's gonna launch it outside the United States. On there you could only order it like in the United States and in like the 48 contiguous states so you couldn't do it in like Alaska or Hawaii, but it does have this box um, that says Nicki Minaj and then Queen Limited Edition Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce. Um, and then it does have a little bit of like features about the price, like blah blah blah. Um, but so the box looks like this, and if I can hold it the right way, super reflective, um, basically like a gold mirror on there. Um, this is all raised. It's like a hard plastic on this, and then you've got this velvet box around, like, this is all velvet and soft touch. Um, but then it opened up, and, let's put it the right way, and she's in there just like that. The bottle looks like this, um, uh, and if you are a Nicki Minaj fragrance collector, you'll recognize the bottle because it's the same bottle shape and design that we've had before. Um, the hair is from Onika, like, it's the same head. Um, the bottle, it does remind me of Pink Friday Deluxe Edition, but definitely more glamorous. Um, and then you've got the necklace from the original Pink Friday, which I love that. Um, and then you've got this beautiful queen headpiece on top. Her head does come off like this to spray it. Um, I am obsessed with this. The headpiece does come off, and then you can, like, take it apart and use it as, like, a bracelet. So, like, comes off like that. And then you just, you can wear it as, like, a little bracelet. My man wrists are too big for it. But, you know, it, it it holds as a bracelet, too. So, um, but it also just sits on her head. But it doesn't sit on her head all that great. Like, it will come off rather easy. Um, which can be kind of annoying, especially if you're going to spray it or something. Like, it's really kind of hard to get it off. Um, or it's really hard to get, like, keep the bracelet from not falling off of her head. Um, and it can get in the way. And then, I mean, it's just a whole nother process because you got to put it back on and blah, blah, blah. So... Um, this one, I definitely, is different from her previous ones. Um, this one is a little bit more masculine. Um, but that being said, it, we'll get into that. So, the notes of this one are Asian pear, bergamot, sleek woods, praline, and musk. When I first, first smelled this, I was like, this does remind me of something. Like, instantly it reminded me of something. I was like, hmm, what does that smell like? And I couldn't figure it out. And initially, my brain went to what I thought it was, and I was like, no, probably not. And then I smelled it, and I was like, they're not the same. They're different. They're... And then one of my friends had texted me and said, like, what do you think of it? And I was like, I like it, but it reminds me of something. And then they asked me if it reminded me of this fragrance, and I hadn't said anything about it reminding me of that to them. And I was like, it does. It really does. And it has similarities, and it doesn't. But the fragrance I'm referencing is Queen. Or, Queen. This one's Queen. Um, Cloud by Ariana Grande. This fragrance did, this is her newest one, did just recently come out. And this fragrance has all the same notes as Queen. Like, Queen doesn't have any notes that, or there's no notes in Queen that aren't in this one. There are just a few more notes added to this one that aren't in Queen. So Queen's kind of, like, trimmed back. Um, I will say there is a big difference. So this one, when you first spray it, you do get kind of a little, you get a lot of the bergamot. And a little bit of the pear, like the pear adds some crispness in there. But the praline, the wood, and the musk from the base do come out. You definitely do get kind of like a woody, musky scent. Um, it is warm and kind of sweet, but it is a little bit masculine. And it is definitely the most masculine of her collection. And I definitely think this one could be unisex and definitely could be worn by her male fans. Definitely because I do know that her male fans where her fragrances, and some of them are more sweet. So, this one is definitely a little bit more toned back, a little bit more masculine, a little bit more grown, definitely very regal, very queen-like. The only thing with this one is the sweetness in this one is very different from the sweetness that's in Cloud. So, if you smell the Cloud, in my opinion, Cloud has this scent that's kind of warm 
and kind of smells like a hot dryer sheet, but it definitely has heat to it, like you can smell heat to the fragrance. But it has this very soft, like airy creaminess to it, um, but it's very woody, very warm, um, and it is very cloud-like, but it's also kind of slightly masculine. This is too, but the cool thing about this is it's not overly sweet unless you're smelling it, like, directly on the skin. You have to get relatively close to the skin to be able to smell the praline. But otherwise, it's very woody, very musky, very, very pretty. It lasts a very, very long time. I get about eight hours or more out of this. It uh, was a very, very nice fragrance on me. It just did uh, remind me a lot of Cloud. And the fact that, like, all the notes are in Cloud is kind of a giveaway that it's going to smell a lot like Cloud. Um, so if you like Cloud, this is kind of like a little bit more of a pulled back version of that. Um, not as, like, loud. This one is a little bit more of a closer skin scent. It doesn't, um, it's not, like, super close. Like, it does, um, project and does have some good silage to it. But it's not as much as Cloud is. I definitely feel like Cloud is a little bit more louder than this one is. Um, this one's definitely more grown, too. Like, it is, um, a little bit more mature than her previous ones. It's not as, um, sweet or fruity as her previous ones. It's got a, like, a that wood really does add a lot to this fragrance, in my opinion. I definitely think this could be someone's signature scent as, like, it has that kind of, like, easy, everyday attitude to it. Um, I definitely feel like this is something someone could wear and just feel very strong and powerful, because it kind of has that aspect to it. Um, like I said, I got about eight hours of lasting out of this, and definitely, it's kind of just an everyday scent. It doesn't really have a season, or in my opinion. I definitely think maybe more, like winter into spring um but really it's kind of just an everyday scent which i do like about that um i don't it's not my favorite one as you guys know that it, i mean i would say exotics like my hands not favorite and it's very fruity and very like exotic smelling um this one is very good regardless of that i'm extremely excited to see where her partnership with this co the new company goes and how everything goes because like It'll be amazing. Like, if we're getting this type of packaging and this type of work on her first fragrance, I can only imagine what it's going to be like going forward, especially with this big of a departure from her previous line. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Queen by Nicki Minaj. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That Is Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.